Welcome back to another episode of Reel and Go. Today we're going to fix an RV fridge. And there's a couple of really simple things that go wrong with these. They can usually be fixed by one part. And we're going to replace the one in this RV today for one particular reason. I'll describe why. So let's get started. This is a common problem part on an RV fridge. This is actually the propane fuel jet. The jet is inside and then the dispersion pipe right here sends the flame up into the ammonia filled tubes to make your fridge work. So inside here in this tiny little hose end is a very special sized valve right there that's inside this oxygenator tube here. And uh, your specific fridge might have different mounting and they might have different amount of dispersion holes here, but basically all of this stuff does exactly the same job. The propane gas comes in from the valve over here. It comes in to this tiny jet. The jet uh, oxygenates the fuel. The fuel comes through here into the dispersion pipe where the ignition will fire it. So it's now lit and then up the tube it goes. The common problems with these are you get a bug in there. Uh, any sort of a bug in here that covers over any one of these holes will change the oxygenation for your propane and it will make your propane fridge burn really bad. Like you could have a very cold flame. It's still burning, but the flame could be really cold because there's not enough oxygen to actually kind of produce the heat that's needed with that tiny amount of fuel. And so if you don't have enough flame, you won't get enough cooling or heating cycle in your fridge and then your fridge doesn't work very well. And it could be only because there's a bug in there, something as simple as that. Or you could have a tiny piece of dirt in there, a tiny piece of dirt, that's it. The hole in there is so small, I can't even really show it to you. It's just a tiny, tiny little pinhole in the end that the gas comes through. And that's why your propane in your camper fridge just about lasts forever, it seems. So if that's working and the oxygenation tubes are working properly, the next thing in line is this dispersion pipe. And this is what's wrong with this fridge. As you can see, there's about a bunch of, of rusty stuff on the surface of these pipes here. And inside this tube, a bunch of the rust has fallen down and gotten into our dispersion pipe. You could see it in there if you could, but you can't. And therefore, this is now all starting to corrode and the flame is not dispersing properly in our dispersion pipe. We're gonna take all this apart. I'm gonna show you the two components side by side so you can see what it should look like. And maybe you can buy one of these to fix your own RV fridge. So you can see the problem that we have here. This is uh, quite a spectacle, to be honest. So the new one is nice and clean, of course. You can see that they match up. I've got no bugs living in my oxygenation tube here. That's nice and clean, but there is a bunch of corrosion on it. And now here's where the bad news starts, right there. So my little ribs here on my diffuser have corroded completely off. And uh, I hope you can see that. They're, they're just garbage, it's gone. So my flame was coming out, basically missing the heat tube completely. Um, now this is all just Norcold parts, okay? So you can literally buy these right off the serial number of your fridge. Very easy, easy parts to get. These are available. I found mine, I forget where at, uh, I forget the name of the place, a fridge, an actual fridge repair company that sells parts. It's an exact fit and that matters. Yes, other fridge components might fit on the, on the actual fuel nipple, but you need one that is the right orifice here for the propane, the right oxygenation, the tube exit at the diffuser here, that has to be in exactly the right spot to go directly up the heat tube in the right place and this funny looking pinch thing is actually the mount for the end of the tube at the other side. So it fits through a specific slot in the steel on the other side. Do not get the wrong tube. If it does not fit, I would never recommend putting that in there because this size of fuel 
and this diffuser, all this needs to be matched to the space where your fuel heat needs to go. Don't mix and match. Anyway, all I did was take the line off here, off of there. There's a single screw that holds this in, and this is slotted into the steel on the other side. It's very easy to take it out and put it in. There's a dust cover here that shields the entire thing. One screw to take that off. And we're gonna put this all back together and then I'm gonna put the GoPro in there and actually show you how that flame comes up into the tube. I'm gonna go inside and turn that on. Well, that's running. And uh, surprisingly enough, that took no time at all to fire off. That is shocking. So let's see if I can get in there and look at that. Almost impossible to see in there. I mean, you can see now there is kind of a nice blue flame in there. Trying to block the light. See that? That is so spectacular. You want to see a nice light blue flame all the way across, and they'll tell you why. Because the if you have uh, the right amount of oxygenation and dispersion, propane burns blue. That's how propane burns. That means you're you're using the fuel effectively right there. And in this situation, with the right nozzle and oxygenation and diffusion and heat tube you're actually getting the designed amount of heating to make your fridge work efficiently. That's required. You need to have the right kind of flame. Not just a flame, but the right kind of flame. Now, if your diffuser is broken like mine was, or you have an oxygenation tube that's plugged, or some other issue with the propane burn, then your flame will be orange. It'll have an orange tip on it, which means the mixture between the oxygen and the fuel is wrong. And you will probably not have enough heat to properly run your fridge tube. It's very important. So, what I would expect you to do is install this yourself, should you want to, and then drive your RV over to a heating and air conditioning company and ask them to do a leak test on that fitting right there right there because you're going to take this off to change that nozzle anybody can change the nozzle you can do this yourself i showed you it's just simply a phillips screwdriver the one cover screw which i'll put back on in a minute and then uh, this simple nut that's all it is except that because you've had this off now you need to take this in and get it leak tested and that's my next project so i'm going to put the dust cover back on you can still see the fitting when the dust cover is on, so I'll put that on, I'll turn the fridge off, I'll close it up, and I will take this down to an HVAC dealer and get that fitting checked right there that I removed. Because you don't want any open propane just sitting in your fridge cabinet. It could very easily ignite when the fridge turns on if you have propane coming out of here just into this cavity, and you will blow the back of your RV off. I mean that will literally explode raw propane up inside this cavity here and you will you will have a very serious problem on your hands go get that checked that's it that's the entire repair and we'll give you an update shortly so the covers on and that's what it really looked like before. Of course, I took it all apart and you very easily see the fitting there to get checked. So, no problems. Uh, I'm not sure if the GoPro can see in this hole. Oh yeah, look at that. It actually can. What a beautiful flame it is. I couldn't be happier.
Well, there you go. So there's a couple problems that you can repair on a fridge uh, just by that simple nozzle. I think I paid $35 for that nozzle. Uh, it's an actual Norcold official part. Um, on that kind of thing where the engineering does matter, I would not go after American on something like that unless it's simply unavailable from the manufacturer because uh, the sizes and the specificity there is specificity is like it's important the ratios matter it's really important so off we go to get that checked and uh, happy RVing uh, we'll see you out there somewhere on a campsite bye bye